Ambassador Pandey do swear by the Holy Gita that I will bear true faith and allegiance to Trinidad and Tobago. So my dad was born in 1933. He recently celebrated his 89th birthday, which we were all happy about. He was born in a village called St. Julian, which is in Princess Town. He went to Presentation College. After that, he worked as a cane weigher, a teacher, and a civil servant. I heard he was quite a strict teacher, which shocked me because um, he's an extremely patient person. My father would be more, did you do your best? So your best doesn't have to be an A. Your best can be a C. It can be a D, but once you tried your best, try to be the best at whatever you do. So that was the kind of father um, that he was and still is. He was a bodybuilder, and that one's quite interesting. He loves sports. Um, to this day, he enjoys looking at sport. He then went abroad and he studied law, economics, and drama, for all of which he has degrees in. I don't know if you know, but my father was an actor, and a successful one. He acted in two films, Man in the Middle and Nine Days to Rama. and acted in a play in the Savoy Theatre in London for a year. And this really was to help him financially to pay for his studies. Then he came back to Trinidad. He had gotten a scholarship to go to Delhi to study politics and economics. He entered politics in 1966, but entered the parliament in 1976. Trinidad and Tobago broke that race bogey. For the first time, there was an East Indian Prime Minister coming from a political line that started with the DLP and ended up with the UNC. And they formed what you call Club 88, you know, and in which ended up as UNC. Because before that, they were the United Labour Front. That formation of the UNC gave Trinidad and Tobago a second political party that had the kind of dynamics that could challenge the PNM for power. We won the election. Mr. Pandey became Prime Minister. He led a, an extremely good government that really served the people very loyally. So my father was the Prime Minister for six years and during that period of time there was a huge legislative agenda where laws were passed. One was obviously the Domestic Violence Act, the other was the Maternity Protection Act, we had the Equal Opportunities Act, we had the Freedom of Information Act. We completed the regularization of 50,000 squatting families to enable them to own the land that they occupy. We built the new air airport terminal. He had made himself Minister of National Security for a while, and he was chairman of the, the National Security Council. But he handled the job very wisely and was able to reduce crime like we had never done previously. While Mr. Pandey was Prime Minister, the price of oil internationally was between $8 and $12 US a barrel. Now that's not a lot of money. And yet, with the shortage of funding, we were able to accomplish a, a great deal. Built a lot of schools. We built bridges and highways, especially in East Trinidad. These were all visions that through laws came into fruition to really improve the quality of people's lives. Badri Pandey, my good friend, is one of the few 
or the only that was a people's person. He came out, unlike most of the, his predecessors, he was the most, until then, he was the most experienced political leader to assume the office of Prime Minister. Pandey was also a grassroots man. He was well loved. I was in Parliament with him. And would you believe if I spoke in a, on a topic in Parliament, he would call me after and say, young man, come. And he would guide me through where I went wrong. And where. So I learned from them. He was just a fantastic dad and lots of fun. So although he may not have always been physically there, we always knew that we can turn to dad and count on him. Mr. Pandey always wore a, a military beret to suggest that he was a militant. I think Mr. Mr. Pandey was the most excitable of the, of, the, um, of the prime ministers. Just as brilliant as all the others, um, just as committed politically as all the others but it was a little bit more excitable. Why I like Basdu immediately is because he was all heart and genuine. He's a man that loves humanity. I'll never, never forget when he arrived at Piaco one time and said, if you see me and a lion fighting, Kill Sally, or the lion, or the lion.